Sideline catch, we're going to teach the receivers to catch the ball on the sideline. Okay, the receivers and the running backs will run this drill. And we're trying to get them to come under control and drag their feet. Now, once in a while, we can also have them try to go up the sideline. There's a good toe drag uh, that we used with the receivers. Backs are going to be catching a lot of passes in our offense. We want to make sure that they can anticipate the sideline, use some body control, and stay in bounds. The next thing we'll do is ask them to go up the field if they can do it. We'll catch the ball and try to keep our body in bounds and get up the field so our momentum doesn't take us out. There's a good one right there. Now another thing is they're going to the right. We do want to switch this drill again and have them go to their left and catch the ball. So we would move the coach to this side of the drill over here and throw it the other way. Now what we've done here too is we've moved the, the uh, trash can a little closer. It's more challenging. They have less time to recuperate and get their feet down. And we'll try to run this drill in phases where we start the cone back and then we get it tighter. Now here we've switched directions. There's almost no chance to get up the field, but we're working on keeping our feet in bounds and catching the ball. Very good job with two feet here. We can use a toe drag if necessary. There's a good two feet. And we're going to run this together with the running backs and the receivers for body control. Again, the quarterback is standing probably 10 yards away for a high amount of reps. Uh, sometimes we'll have two quarterbacks doing that. We tried to get upfield on that. If you want to challenge them, you can certainly do that. But the tighter, we can't get the cone, the trash cans here too much tighter. It, it gets real, real tough. But we try to get it as tight as we can. And the better they get, the closer they can do it. 